Have you ever said or done something that you regretted later? Perhaps you made a fool of yourself in front of the entire school. Or asked a stupid question. Have you ever imagined traveling back in time and stopping that one embarrassing moment from ever happening? Well, you'll be happy to know that you can. Hypothetically, anyways. Now, your first thought is probably wormhole. Well, you'd be wrong. Well, almost wrong. The Tipler Cylinder. Fascinating concept. Similar to a wormhole, but infinitely long and a lot more stable. A wormhole is very erratic. Even if you could keep it open long enough to travel through, you likely wouldn't survive the trip. The Tipler Cylinder is a much better option. It's a hypothetical theory of time travel created by American mathematical physicist Frank Tipler in 1974. He theorized that by taking an object ten times the mass of the sun and compressing it into an extremely dense, thin, and infinitely long cylinder and spinning it along its longitudinal axis at a few billion revolutions per minute, it could yield the ability to travel backwards in time. If an expedition followed a meticulously planned course around the cylinder, they could, theoretically, re-emerge thousands if not billions of years in the past. Now the ship would find itself on what's known as a closed time-like curve. You may be wondering what that means. A closed timeline curve, or CTC, is essentially a time loop that could, theoretically, send someone backwards in time. It would take an incredibly powerful gravitational field to create, one that could distort the very fabric of the universe in such a way that would allow space-time to bend backwards on itself, creating the time loop. So, if the cylinder is infinitely long and spinning at the correct speed, it should create a frame-dragging effect that distorts space-time around it. Succeeding this, light cones of objects near the cylinder begin to tilt, with part of the light cone pointing backwards on the time axis. That might have sounded complicated, probably because it is. Let me break it down for you. Alright, let's start with frame-dragging. It sounds complicated, but it's really easy to explain. Here we have the universe. And here we have a mass. The mass creates a gravitational field by warping the space-time around it. Alright, now if that object were to spin, it would further distort space-time around it. That is frame-dragging. Light cones are a little more complicated. They're based on the fact that the speed of light is a constant, while time is not. Imagine an explosion. That explosion is going to radiate outwards, in all directions. This is what it looks like in a two-dimensional plane. If we were to take the circles and stack them on top of each other and connect the outsides, we get the three-dimensional version on a space-time graph. This is what's known as a future light cone, representing all future outcomes of that particular event. The frame dragging caused by the spinning cylinder hence causes the light cones of objects traveling near the cylinder to tilt, with part of the light cone pointing backwards on the time axis. This would make the object appear to travel instantaneously through space to an outside observer. Traveling along a CTC on a Tipler cylinder would allow the expedition team to return to their original point in time, but also to points backwards in time within their specific light cone. If the Tipler cylinder could tilt the light cone 90 degrees, the ship's time axis would become the space axis to an outside observer. To an outside observer, the ship would appear to be traveling backwards in time. And that's how we can travel back in time. Got it?